countdown to baby for Meghan and Harry. The royal couple have a basket and baby bath on the ready. When Meghan Markle and Prince Harry wed on May 19 at St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle, the world stopped. Just four months after the wedding, it now looks like the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are ready to welcome their first child to the world. Meghan sparked pregnancy rumors after looking more curvy than usual on a royal outing on September 6. The Duchess wore a blue dress with ruffles on the front that made her figure appear fuller. It is also no secret that the royal couple have a desire for a baby of their own with a source close to the couple confirming that it's a case of the sooner, the better. Meghan's former agent Jean Anel Thorpe Count revealed to People, Meghan and I were at an event in the Cayman Islands and Meghan discussed her future with me, and I said to her, Meghan, what about kids? Would you like to have children? She said to me, I would absolutely love to have children, and I can't wait to be a mother. Meghan and Harry have also been quite open on their plans to start a family. When Harry was questioned in a November 2017 BBC interview about having babies he responded that, of course, he would want to have one. You know, one step at a time. Hopefully, we'll start a family in the near future. When the couple visited Belfast, Northern Ireland on royal business, they couldn't resist talking to the owner of Shinuggle, which is a company that makes innovative baby products. Meghan was spotted looking at a baby bath a Moses basket and a changing mat, before reportedly saying, I am sure at one point we will need the whole thing. When the couple visited Belfast, Northern Ireland on royal business, they couldn't resist talking to the owner of Shinuggle, which is a company that makes innovative baby products. Meghan was spotted looking at a baby bath, a Moses basket and a changing mat, before reportedly saying, I am sure at one point we will need the whole thing. Meghan Markle 37, and Prince Harry, 34, are spending their second Christmas together today, and all eyes will be on Meghan's blossoming bump. Kensington Palace announced the royal couple were expecting their first child together on October 19. A palace statement said, the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in spring 2019. But given royal announcements are usually made after the expectant mother has had her 12-week scan. We can assume Meghan's due date will be towards the start of spring. When is the royal baby due? Bookies say March is the favorite month at the moment. Ladbrokes have the odds on the baby arriving in March at 4-5, while it is evens for April. The suggestion appears to be backed up by the Duchess of Sussex herself who may have accidentally given a big clue away while visiting a nursing home on December 18. Meghan was heard saying to a resident she felt very good and very pregnant as she cradled her tummy in video footage captured by People magazine. What will Meghan and Harry name first baby? The current favorite name for the new royal baby is Victoria, according to bookmaker Coral. The girl's name leads with odds of 8 to 1. Next in line are Albert, Diana and Philip, all of which are 10 to 1. Coral's Harry Aitken had said. It won't be long now until the latest royal baby is welcomed into the family. And the name is always a popular thing for punters to bet on. Meghan Markle baby gender revealed? Will Meghan and Harry have a baby girl or boy? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will welcome their first child in the spring of 2019 and as the due date is approaching royal fans are speculating in the baby's gender. Will Meghan and Harry have a baby girl or a boy? Meghan Markle is due to give birth this spring and the Duchess of Sussex is assumed to be six to seven months pregnant. Scans can reveal the baby's gender from week 16 which means Meghan and husband Prince Harry could already know if they are having a boy or a girl. And now a midwife has explained how an old myth can help predict the gender. Will Meghan and Harry have a baby girl or boy? Amanda Boot a midwife from Groovy Babies explained the gender can be revealed by the way a woman carries. The midwife said apparently if you're carrying wide and low, you're more likely to be having a girl. However, if you're carrying high and pointy, you're more likely having a boy. Looking at Meghan's baby bump, it seems to be more high and pointy than wide and low which could indicate she will have a baby boy. But Bood pointed out the old myth don't have any scientific research. She said, I don't think there is any research that has ever been done to credit this, theory. Professor Steve Robson, 
the immediate past president of the Royal Australian and New Zealand College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists slammed the theory. The professor told the Huffington Post, it's clear to say that a child's genitals has nothing to do with how the woman's body looks when she is pregnant. The way a woman carries a baby has more to do with the size of the baby. If the baby is smaller, it is more likely to be lower in the pelvis. So a baby that is larger than average is more likely to be higher, a smaller baby will be lower. Punters have also placed bets on the baby's gender since the Duke and Duchess announced they were expecting a child. According to Ladbrokes, both genders currently shows odds at 10-11. However, three and four bets have been in favor of a girl. Alex Apati of Ladbrokes said, Megan's hardly given anything away when it comes to gender but punters clearly seem confident she's having a girl.